Hello, this is Josh from Ag2Go, and today I'm going to be going through the cabling for a GFX 350, a NAV 900, and an Easy Steer. I'm obviously not in a tractor, uh, but this is going to be going into a uh, Ford F-150 truck. So the first thing I did was I took our 67258 power cable that goes to the battery terminals comes into the cab and then has a four pin adapter that is going to plug into the 67258 cable I'm sorry the 67259 cable it's this big power bus cable. It comes with uh, these two connectors, uh, P2 and R2, uh, disconnected. And you have the option of using a um, switch, a power switch um, for turning power uh, to the steering system on and off. Uh, most people discard that cable, and then there's another uh, part to that uh, that goes to keyed power if you'd like to do that. Um, again, uh, people mostly discard that. Um, so the 67259 cable is actually a three-part cable. Um, we're going to be focusing just on this main power bus harness. So if you're not going to use that switch, what we're going to do is take P2 and R2, and we're going to plug them right into each other. So we're going to take our battery harness, and we're going to plug that into the main power in for 67259. Right. The other side of 67259 is the main power out, which is a four pin, and that will plug into our display power, 110551, and the main R1 power. So now I have those two connected, the battery power and then the display power. I can take the other end of my display cable. Looks like the plastic piece came out. Got the plastic piece back in now. This is on our main display power. We're going to plug that into the back of the display. It just slides right in. So now we have power going to our display. We are going to hook up uh, our antenna cable going up to the nav. This is part number 110540 and you can see one end says to display and the other end says nav. So we're going to take the display end first and we're going to plug that into the right hand side of the display.
that blue port on the left is for accessory cables, um, for implement switches, radar output, cameras. We don't have any of that hooked up currently, um, so that is going to be unused. So we're going to take this other end of the cable and we're going to plug that into the back of our NAV 900 on the left hand side here. Once you push that into place, you'll see a little status light starts to blink. All right, so we have power to our display. We have connectivity of GPS uh, from our NAV 900 to our display. And we can check that by going into Precision IQ. see there if we click the satellite we have 2019 20 satellites counting so that is communicating put that off to the side for now uh, the next thing we need to do is get power from our main power harness over to our easy steer So we are looking for cable number 75742. On 75742, we should have a R3 power. That is just a two pin, and that is going to plug into our 67259 power bus cable that we had earlier. And you have three choices. You can go in P4, uh, P5, or P6. P4 already has the dust cap removed, so I'm just gonna put that uh, right onto P4. Like so. Move our nav control over there. Now, we have these other ends of the cable. This one is the R2 end. It says two easy steer controller. So we're gonna take our easy steer here. And this end goes into the left port on the T2 controller. You want to make sure you actually screw these into place because this can um, pop out of place and give you an error while operating. Again, there is a status light down here to let you know you are getting power. And that should just be blinking about once a second or so. If it's going faster than that, then there's, there's probably a communication error. There are a couple other cables on this uh, 75742. There's an upgrade cable for firmware up upgrades to the T2 controller. Uh, there is a port replicator uh, R1 on here that we're not going to use. And then there is a port C 12-pin uh, Deutsch that we are going to use. So this is going to feed into 111329. If 
that is right here. And we are and we are going to plug these two ends into each other. Just like that. The end of that cable, the 111329 that we just plugged in to 75742 leaves you this 12 pin that is P1 to nav. So this is going to go in the back of the nav controller. Just like that. Now all that leaves us with is one other connection, which is the right side of the T2 controller. And for that, we're going to use 62257. Again, these are marked with the side that needs to go into the easy steer controller. And then the other side has directions to go to motor. So we're gonna plug one end into the T2 controller. that and then the other end into the motor cable like that I'm just going to check on the display our warning has popped up that we have an easy steer installed we're going to accept that and now our running man is green our satellite is green we can go check in our vehicle profile and we can hit the calibrate button to calibrate our easy steer. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll also put on a couple uh, cabling diagram pictures so you can see all this stuff laid out. If anybody has any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us to our website or our phone number 877-978-5477. Thank you. Bye.